We set out on an epic 10-day, 3,600 nautical mile trek to Reno and back in our 1979 Cherokee 6. Along the way, we explored some of America's most iconic destinations. Come right along with us. See national parks, landmarks, cities and towns from the air and the ground. Epic Trek, Reno or Bust, right now, here on 6-0 Alpha. Yellowstone Airport, automated weather observation, 1, 3, 5, 6, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than 1, 0. Sky condition, clear, below 1, 2,000. Temperature, 1, 4, Celsius, dew point, minor Celsius, altimeter, 3. Two, two inches of mercury, remarks, density altitude, okay. seven, niner, zero, zero. He didn't charge us for parking. That's good. I wonder if he felt bad. <laughs> you think? He was very apologetic. Good. He said, I had. I was here until 3 a.m. last night because the um, SkyWest jet that was supposed to get here at like 10.30 didn't get here till 3 and I had to wait for him. Oh my God. I'm like, man, I'm sorry. Check out that little sweet baby there. Thank you. He can, I bet he can land and take off in Anywhere. about 200 feet. Right. <laughs> of course, you can only carry two people in one bag, but hey, you know, maybe that's all he needs. Right. Welcome back, day three, Epic Trek 2021. Challenging flight this morning down to Reno, about four hours. Uh, take off is at max gross weight. We've already got density altitude this morning. We've got terrain, we've got weather to contend with, and lots of MOAs in restricted areas once we get into Nevada. Got a minimum climb rate out of Yellowstone, roughly 500 feet a minute, which we are capable of according to our performance charts. But just in case, we plan to follow the valley on our initial climb out until we reach about 500. Then lots of desert to cover, so extra water on board today in addition to our survival gear. And then a challenging descent into the Reno Bowl, aka Reno International. So we're playing with the big boys today. Should be fun. Come along, see if we make it. I probably didn't need to use all 8,000 feet of this runway, but um, why, why bother? You know, or why chance it? Hey. Um, the density altitude is almost 8,000 feet already, so we are going to have trouble climbing. But he says an inch and a half back, which is basically my lean for taxi position, so I'm just going to leave it right there. Round it up. There it goes. Okay. One, two. One. Back. Cycle of prop. One. Two. Okay. Yep. Three. Coming across zero, blue over brown, matches field, enunciator check, ball is centered. We are facing 325, 325. Our runway heading is one nine. Zero VSI, green, green, charging matches visual. EGT looks good, alt air check is good. Okay, good, 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 good. And we need to lean this. Oh, too far. Right there, okay. Light instruments are set. Autopilot is off. Circuit breakers are in and check. How you doing, Ian? Good. Are you ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Okay, he's in the pattern. Uh, Cherokee, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Yeah, go for it. I'll uh, go along. Hey, we appreciate that. Thanks. West Yellowstone traffic, Cherokee 8160 Alpha, departing 19 to the south, West Yellowstone. Airspeed's alive.
There's 50, 60, 65, 70, rotate. Flying, positive rate of climb. Trim for 80. West Yellowstone traffic, Sky Uber. 2 1 Tango Sierra's the short final runway 1 9. Let's go, Yellowstone. We're climbing 500 feet a minute, which is our requirement to get up to 7,500 on the initial climb. West Yellowstone traffic, Cherokee 816 Alpha departing the airspace to the south. We'll see you. Here comes 1,000 feet. Laps are coming out. And we'll drop the nose and we'll start to accelerate. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna go there and then we're in the valley. We gotta clear that terrain. We're good over here, so we're staying to the left of our flight path for the moment. Still climbing at 500 feet a minute, which is our requirement. That's a good thing. Holly Salt Lake Center, Indian Alpha, go ahead. Uh, Cherokee 8160 Alpha with you, uh, 8,300 climbing, 8.5. Cherokee 8160 Alpha, radar contact. Nine miles southwest of the West Yellowstone Air Force. The West Yellowstone altimeter 3022, and your, are you PA-28? 3022, negative, PA-32. And November 6, you're off of Roger, thanks, got it. How we doing back there? The speed. Okay. We still rolling? Still rolling? Okay, why don't we shift this guy back here now? Yeah! Oh my god. Woo! 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 How we celebrate Independence Day. Ooh, yeah. 1862 for Delta 861. Grand Teton over there. Grand Teton? Yep, right over there. Can barely see uh, him. Like uh, Delta 349, like you'd like uh, ten, five or ten degrees left, or uh, direct to Sheridan, if we can do that. In three and a half hours, we should be where we want to be. As pilots, we do everything to plan, anticipate, de risk every flight. We study weather performance charts, in-route hazards, run checklists, review emergency ops, constantly thinking, what is my out in every situation? But when you throw that throttle full forward, hurtling the machine down the runway, you really never know how the flight is going to end. Until it does. Along the way, you float above the world with just your thoughts. I got the IFR ticket. I trained in Mount Nobs. Density altitude, O2 systems. I've talked to pilots who have done this flight in my same type of airplane. Yet, what haven't I thought of? That single thought keeps you on edge. November 60 Alpha, contact North South Coast, 119.2. 119.2, 60 Alpha, we'll see you now. Yeah. Something I never thought I would do in this airplane. I'm going to call up NorCal Approach. <laughs> NorCal Approach, Turkey 8160 Alpha with the level 10.5. 8160 Alpha, NorCal Approach, divide with X ray every now. So all we got to do now is just sit back and wait about another half an hour. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> uh, I think this ridge of mountains up here, like off in the distance, that's once we get over that, we we'll do that because it's Reno is Reno's in between two mountain ranges. I'm expecting three four right. It's a uh, nine thousand foot runway. Should be plenty of room for us. Forty four hundred field elevation. I think this is Sparks right here. So is that the Giga Factory? I don't know. Or is this it right here? The option 
Uh, based That's on the jig off over there. Oh, okay. Uh, Sierra Roger, runway 34 right, clear for the option. And do you have the uh, Gulf Stream rolling in sight? 34 right, clear for the option. Yeah, we have him in sight. We're going to extend behind uh, Rattlesnake Mountain, if that's okay with you. Good day, 42. Number 8160 Alpha, contact Reno Tower, 118.7. Have a good day. Order Tower, 118.7. Thanks for the help. See you next time, 6 here, Alpha. Reno Tower, Cherokee, 8160 Alpha with you, descending 10,000. Number 8160 Alpha, Reno Tower, continue inbound, report midfield. Continue inbound, we'll report midfield, 60 Alpha. Peg J at 5 5, wind 0206, runway 34 right, clip for takeoff. November 60 Alpha, your number 2 following a Skyhawk on 1 mile final, wind 0105, runway 34 right, clear to land. Alright, number 2 following the Skyhawk, uh, clear to land, 34 right, 60 Alpha. As we crested the last major ridge, you could feel the thermals and mountain updrafts buffeting the plane. Even with the power all the way out, we were still not descending fast enough to make pattern altitude. It just does not want to come down. A couple of slipped S-turns still failed to get us there. We are quickly running out of options. You can see my growing concern with the realization that I had failed to properly manage my energy. Tower American 2722, checking in visual, 34 right. American 2722, Reno Tower 10104, runway 34 right, clear to land. In a busy airspace like this, only one safe option remains. Time for the Mia Culpa and a duo. Tower 6 or Alpha, we need to make a 360 here to lose some altitude. 6 or Alpha at midfield, make left 360. Uh, midfield left 360, 60 Alpha. November 60 Alpha, cancel your, land, uh, cancel your landing clearance, make one more left 360. Yep, understood. One more left 360 and then waiting on to you for the clearance, 60 Alpha. That's our hotel right there, that big white one. <laughs> Will that work for you? I don't hope so. I think you're going to love the pool, Lily. Tower, hold short, runway 34 right, traffic, two mile final. Holding short, 34 right, Skyhawk, two mile final. All right. Gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, switches. 6 0 Alpha, extend downwind, I'll call your base. Extend the downwind, waiting on you on the base, 6 0 Alpha. Track 93 Echo, Arena Tower, runway 24 right, line up and wait. 24 right, line up and wait, Skyhawk 293 Echo. You see the Airbus that's landing? Where? Is it below us? Yes, that's now. Okay, excellent. 6 0 Alpha, turn base, square it off, runway 24 right, continue, traffic will hold on position. Turning base, 6 0 Alpha. Yeah, 5899, Arena Tower, traffic on a 2 mile right base, runway 24 right, line up and wait. 34 right, line up and wait, Skyhawk uh, 5899. Track 752 Delta Whiskey, turn right direct Mustang, then enter a right downwind from like before right. We'll turn right to the Mustang, 752 Delta Whiskey. Where is it? Okay, I got it. Yeah, 5899, traffic up, wind's on the left turn out, wind 0205, runway 3 for right, clear for takeoff. 3 4 right, clear for takeoff. He knew I had to turn my base, otherwise I'd be over there by now. Traffic departing in Bray 175, caution rate turbulence, wind 0204, runway 3 for right, clear land. Uh, got the departing traffic, clear land, 3 4 right, 6 or Alpha. Zero, zero two zero, zero. so they're over here. One seventy five straight out. Advise when you have traffic in sight. A gas undercarriage mixture prop switches. Yeah, zero Charlie Sierra. Uh, maintain visual separation. Caution. We turn turbulence with that traffic. Your number two follow the Saratoga on one mile final wind. Zero two zero four runway three four right. Clear for the option. Okay. Eighty five hundred. Departure CS. Departure CS. Skywest fifty eight nine nine. Four right, seven five two Delta Whiskey. The flaps out. Six zero Alpha, turn right at Juliet and contact ground and point out or have a good day. Right at Juliet and over to ground, six zero Alpha. Ending light off, fuel pump off. 
Marino Ground, 6 zero Alpha, Alpha 3-4, right, going to Stellar. November 8160 Alpha, Marino Ground, taxi ramp via Charlie. Taxi ramp via Charlie, 6 zero Alpha. We made it! Yay! As we taxi in, I know what I hadn't thought of. Fatigue. Three days of late nights looking at weather and finalizing plans. Pre-dawn wake-ups for early morning takeoffs. And the long flights in between through some challenging terrain. We're halfway there, 1,800 nautical miles. It's a good thing we have four days here in Reno. Plenty of R&R coming our way. See ya! me a favor. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Click that subscribe button. Tell all your friends. Thanks for riding along. We'll see you next time.